let's go ahead and begin with step number one yes we're starting literally from the ground up literally the chromebook's turned off i'm gonna turn it on i'm gonna do all the steps start in step one because i hate it you know when like on like tutorials and it's very complicated and stuff i hate that i like simple tutorials so let me go ahead and open my chromebook right now okay so i open my chromebook so now simply power it on obviously let's wait for this to load and yes guys i don't have the latest version of it so it's not going to be like the fastest thing in the world you know what i'm saying but it's gonna be pretty good so let's turn it on and some of you guys will be like oh hp you guys are forgetting that it's chrome it's still a chromebook it's just co a collaboration because if you actually turn the back as you can see chrome so i don't want anyone in the comments saying oh yeah it says hp yeah i know it says hp it's also chrome it's a collaboration but it's still a chromebook basically there's nothing hp about it anyways i'm gonna log in now All right so i've just logged in so once you log in and i know my wallpaper is pretty pretty cool honestly i know i get a lot of uh comments and hate about my wallpaper every time i make like a video like this one of these i always get comments saying oh yeah look at your wallpaper listen okay i like it okay in life it's about what you like and not what other people like always you know do what you like to do you know because at the end of the day we all live once so do what you want anyways so let's go ahead and begin with step number one so that was step number one was just turning on your chromebook and i know that sounds weird like why would you go ahead and include that part too because i want to show you like without uh confusing i want to make it so everyone could keep track you know what i'm saying because i hate it when tutorials you get you know when it gets complicated and you have to you know rewind and try to move to the right place instead i want you to watch it and do it for yourself so once you're here as you can see the chrome browser right there it's right here so you want to do is go ahead and click on it so load up chrome okay so once you load it up now you just want to type up roblox.com and there you go so now load up the roblox website right here which was step number three after so as you know we turned it on we've clicked on chrome then we went to roblox.com and now step number four um we want to scroll down so go here scroll down or you could just you know move like this right here and as you can see there's going to be a bunch of options here it's going to say roblox on your device and yes it is true that you can't download roblox on chromebook that is true but there's ways around it so the way around it if you didn't know is simple so as you can see it says download on xbox download on playstation available on amazon app store get it on microsoft and i know there's also like these sites where like obviously uh you could play it on your browser without downloading it i'm aware of those there's a bunch of them and a lot of them are real but we're not talking about that today we're talking about how to get it this way and so essentially it's very simple so since it's a google machine right which is going to sound like a shock to you guys right now this chromebook could actually play any game on your samsung phone on your huawei phone on any android how and i'll show you how because there's google play in chromebook and i'm gonna show you by the way at the end of the video how to make it run better because it could be very laggy so i'm going to show how to fix the lag as well later down in the video and i'm also going to show you how it runs so anyway click on get on google play and it's going to launch you to google play now uh, it's not going to instantly launch it's going to say sign up if you haven't signed up to it yet so you simply sign up and yeah you could get any game so here's roblox right here now it's not just limited to roblox we have among us we have this game whatever that is <laughs> we have a lot of games uh, my favorite games so i, I want to quickly do a game suggestion because i don't want to just give you guys a little bit of value i want to give you guys a lot of value my favorite game is this this game right here i'm not sponsored by them but it's a great game where is it uh merge plants 
that game is so good and it's so addictive i love this game i've been playing it yesterday for like two three hours uh all day literally two three hours and it just addicted me and i'm not sponsored by any or anything but it works very well on chromebook and it's very good i really like this game it's like a simulator game it's so cool but anyways so simply click on install okay so we're just gonna wait for this to load Right, and that's gonna take a bit of time. It's only 135 megabytes, actually, so it's gonna be pretty fast. If you're connected to a Wi-Fi box, it's gonna be much faster, obviously. Since Chromebooks are pretty slow, but on like a Wi-Fi box, it's actually pretty good. On like a Wi-Fi box, though. But yeah, and obviously the Google Play Store has a lot of games. Now some games aren't on it, but I would say like a good chunk of them are. A good chunk of games support Chrome, but some don't. I agree, some wouldn't support Chrome. Well, that's like a very few amount like there's so much more that support it than don't i guess if you want to play like google play games i recommend you guys getting like a like a tablet if google sells a tablet or get like a android tablet so whatever brand supports android get like a tablet and you can play those games too if you really wished but yeah so simply click on play but yeah chrome actually does it for you anyway you don't really need a tablet if you have chromebook it's actually better to run it on Chrome. You know why? Because you get the keyboard, which is much better than tapping the screen, mate. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's per personal preference, right? I prefer the keyboard, to be honest. But, you know, I feel like... And actually, I prefer touchscreen, right? Touchscreen. Yeah, I prefer touch... Yeah, I, I would say I prefer... It depends on the game, right? But for Roblox, I definitely prefer keyboard. There is no question. I would not prefer touchscreen Roblox, but other than Roblox, a lot of games. So it depends on the game, I guess. But simply what you want to log in now or sign up. So I'm going to do that right now off camera because why not? Question. When people fill this out, who actually like puts the real birthday? I actually want to know what percent of people. It's literally like 90% of people just go to like the high stage. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so I've just launched it right here. As you can see, we're on the home page. So now, all I want to do is select a game. So I'm going to select It's very interesting games. Can I scroll? All right, let's do Easy Obby. It's quite a classic. So let's launch this thing. This bad boy. You know, the thing about I like about Roblox is there's so many games like to choose from. I really like that aspect of it. But yeah, we're just going to wait for this to connect to Roblox servers. It's loading. It takes a bit of time to load on Chrome, I'm not going to lie. And yeah, if you want to increase the quality like I promised, go to ESC and then put the graphics to automatic and then basically the graphics quality to none basically make for none of the squares so manual and then make it the lowest possible option because you don't want to overheat your chromebook and it just runs the best like this on chrome so once you got that you can move with these keys and yeah it's a very good uh play experience people are gonna ask me is it actually fun to play on Chromebook or is it like a bit laggy? Personally, I don't have lag issues, but it depends on your Wi-Fi. If you have a, a Wi-Fi box, you should be good to go or fast internet in general. Right. But yeah, it depends on on your Wi-Fi than the machine for Roblox. But yeah, because you're obviously connected into external servers. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're going to see right now, and I'll see you next video. Peace and have a good day. Before this video starts, make sure you watch until the end of the video as I'm going to be hiding codes throughout this video. Also, I always like to give back to my people, my subscribers, my community. Just like, subscribe, comment down below your Roblox username and how much Robux you actually want or desire. Anyways, watch till the end. Also, share this video. I'm going to be seeing, you know, who can get to more people. And if your friends actually go ahead and do it as well, then you actually go ahead and get a three times high chance. Definitely share this video as well.